What's up guys, Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about a software. This is, or the, the software I'll be talking about is a recovery or a data recovery software that enables you to retrieve back your lost data on its original form. So it's not gonna be lost forever using this software. So you can retrieve pictures, videos, or any files in a computer, on your hard drive, on your thumb drive, your SD card, or probably your digital camera. So it will be restored using this software. So it's an easy software installation and also easy to run the software itself. So it's compatible for both Windows and Mac. So I'm gonna talk about that more and um, if you do want to check it out, you can check the links in the description below. They're running a free, or you can try it for free. But let's dive into the computer so that I can tell you more. Let's go. And the software I'm talking about is the Tenorshare 4D Dig. So this is a data recovery software which is compatible for both Windows and Mac. And as you can see at the top right, there is a Santa Claus um, standing or icon, a GIF maybe. So when, once you click on that, you will be routed to a Christmas and New Year sales on the website. So the sale is up to 75% off, which will expire on the 6th of January. So basically what you can see from here is that you can enter a lucky draw. It's a limited time discount and also some special offers. So for you to join the lucky draw, you don't have to purchase anything. Just share it on your social media and then put your email once you press and go they will prompt on, on the screen what will be your price or what you want okay so these are the uh, winners that they have here so this limited discount uh, limited time discount if you want the package the Tenorshare 4d uh, dig data recovery software it is 2698 us dollars for one month license and there's a special offer as well if uh, you have a Tenorshare duplicate file deleter it's priced at 1997 US dollars for one year so this is only for Windows this is quite useful because you can actually uh, free up some space on your computer okay so let's move on to the actual software itself but you might ask yourself will I use the software I mean what when will I be able to use the software so basically it is very useful rather than like, especially if you deleted, accidentally deleting a, um, a file in your computer or your, your update failed or your system crashed, usually you have to go to a professional and the professional will charge you a lot of money to retrieve your files. And it's not even certain that these files will be retrievable or probably those professionals are just using this software itself to retrieve your files. So why not just cut the middleman, just download the software and you can do it yourself. So it can even delete uh, the emptied trash or your, your folders or files in a folder that you accidentally deleted. And also there are like, of course, your updated uh, update failure, your system crash or your disk is damaged or corrupted. You also have uh, your partition loss, CPU failure, or even your screen is broken. And of course, virus attack and as well as you uh, the disk has been formatted uh, by accident or like like probably you miss something then you have to recover it so this software is very very useful so it is complete trusty 100% and it's easy to use because it's just a click of uh, like just three clicks away to restore your data so you don't have to be super techy to do this and it's fast to scan and recover your files and also, if you scroll down a bit, this are the file formats that you can actually retrieve. Your photos, videos, audio files, emails, documents, and your archive and others. Okay, so it is very worry-less because it's, it supports a lot of devices like your Mac, MacBook, uh, Windows devices, hard drive, SSD, USB drive, memory card, micro card, your SD, CF card, uh, also a music player, your camera, video player, floppy disk if there's any, and also your iPod. It supports from OS X 10.10 .10 Yosemite up to the current OS for Mac. Okay, so it's, uh, it does a quick scan or also a deep scan and uh, its features 
of course, it can scan a preview, it can uh, file, filter a file, also data protection. And if you are on the monthly plan, there is a customer support, which will be included on your package. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, it's just a three-step data recovery. So you install, click and select a drive to re recover. You scan and preview your files and of course recover your files. All right, so now we know what the product is. So I'm gonna install it on my computer and we're gonna see it live in action. All right, so next is we're gonna download the software and install on the computer. And after that, I'm going to uh, try it. Okay, so we're gonna scan and also retrieve some files. Let's do that. Okay, so I have installed it and this is how it looks. So basically, it's quite straightforward. If you have drives, it will appear here and you can just select and scan. And uh, if you have external drives like SD card or maybe um, hard drives, you can just select and scan it. And you also have other location. We have the trash, which is your basically your uh, bin and you can scan to retrieve files. And also if you have lost files from crashed computers, so you can also go ahead and do that. So let's give it a go. Let's try to scan a um, SD card. Let me just plug it in. Okay, so I have here a 16 gig memory card that I used before and nothing inside it because I already reset the whole thing. So let's just go ahead um, now um, and do a scan. Let's see how long it will take. Okay, so it's now scanning. It shows around two minutes and it's I think it's trying to read it and it's gonna go up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna come back once it's done scanning. All right, so scanning is complete and we're gonna go ahead and test this. Um, let's see, let's try to recover some of the videos I have. So total, I actually found 121 items. So somewhere in the folder, uh, somewhere just like outside. And you can actually select multiple um, like files if you want to recover them. Okay, but we're not gonna do that. It's probably gonna take some time. Okay, so let's just find the smallest that we have. I think these are not actual files uh, because it's just 4KB. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so I'm gonna recover this file. So recover. Oh, did I select that? Okay, recover. Oops, okay. So let's recover the file and uh, let's go to the desktop. Just gonna put it in share, then open. All right, so it's recovering the file. It's saving the actual or the original file back to the folder, back to my desktop. So as you can see, you can find it here. Okay. So, all right, so here it is. So it created a subfolder for that. So once you click open, okay, you can see me over there. So, yep, it recovered the actual file that was deleted. So it is convenient. It would take some time if you have multiple files that you want to recover from inside a, a SD card probably, or your hard drives, so it will take some time. Okay, the, that, that's it for uh, for this software, it's quite straightforward. It's quite easy as one, two, three steps to do it. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, do check out the link in the description below. It, you can try the software in your computer and if you like it, you can actually purchase the license. There's no long-term commitment, just a monthly subscription. So do check it out. This has been Christian from All About Me and I'll see you on the next video.